Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm sharing with you my CVS in-store shopping hauls video. I did happen to get out to my local CVS stores for today, which happens to be Monday, December 19th, 2022 for me while filming. And I did pop in and take advantage of quite a bit of deals going on. Now, I cannot say that today was an easy day. It came with a lot of obstacles, some of which um, ended up being I came really early in the morning. And I also popped into another CVS really late in the evening. Now, the benefit about coming in the morning was that there was barely anyone in the store. And then once, you know, I was in the store, the crowd of people really started picking up. So therefore, it made it a little bit complicated on my cashier that happened to be helping me out. I had to check out with a cashier because I was paying with a Fetch gift card for CVS and it's digital and I can't use it at like self checkout. So the cashier ended up being, in my opinion, pretty rude by indicating to me that I would need to step aside so that they could take care of some other customers. But I tried to compose myself and handle myself, you know, in a good manner and not really focus on the um, demeanor that was presented to me at the time. But I did feel sort of like, oh, wow, like now that I've started recouponing at CVS and dealing with all these like extra buck things going on, sales and deals. And I was like, mm, I think this is one of the major reasons why I stepped out of the CVS picture. But if you are, you know, good with your cashiers at your local CVS or you're not really worried about other people's, you know, presentation towards you, you know, feel free to see if you can take advantage of any of these sales and deals I had the chance to embark in, in today. So I ended up doing quite a bit of different separate transactions altogether about six different transactions but three of which were, were very simple and I'll explain and show you pretty much like a rundown of like my receipts. One of the big ones that is still a money maker for everyone I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw it out there is one more time the CVS health vitamin C 250 milligram immune health it's 100 count tablets here is the UPC barcode in case you're interested these at my local CVS stores actually ring up for four dollars and 19 cents regular price I don't even bother with going ahead and utilizing like my 32% off coupons because I just feel like eh, I don't need to. Anyways, I pay with my extra bucks and I end up maybe paying a few cents. Like I'll show you like this one. I ended up paying a total of 19 cents through my gift card. As you can see my gift card. And that happened to be $2 and extra bucks and $2 and extra bucks as my other way of payment. And I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and earned back a total of $5. So right there, it was an 81 cent moneymaker. But I ended up doing it um, three times because there was three different like Ibotta separate accounts, not just myself, but different family members that could submit for the rebate. And I was there and the inventory was there. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to you know, burn off some of those extra bucks by picking these up, you know, 81 cents times three, you know, that's $2 and 43 cents moneymaker right away. That helps to cover, you know, gas, um, to some place in some cases, depending on what kind of vehicle, you know, you're transporting yourself for, but three, um, transactions involved that. Okay. And one of them that I did at like the end of the night, I'll discuss that one. This is like one of the reasons that I needed to come into the store on Monday. I felt the need to. So I took advantage of picking up one of these Dove uh, conditioners. 
one of these Dove shampoos and this Old Spice Thickening with Biotin uh, shampoo. And it's a pretty, pretty uh, big bottle. It's 17.9 ounces. Now the shampoos are only like 12 ounce bottles. Okay, so I had a $3 off $10 or more purchase base coupon that was set to expire today, okay? And I also had a Fetch Unilever Dove offer where when you buy two Dove hair care products, you earn back 3,000 Fetch points and 3,000 Fetch points is equivalent to $3, which later once you get a certain amount, you can you know add them up to redeem for a gift card that you get in three to five business days. And I also had um, a $2 off two Dove uh, hair care coupon that had printed last week that actually expired on Saturday, but had like um, like a grace period day for use uh, up until at least today. So I had that and I had a bunch of extra bucks. I have an exuberant amount of extra bucks going on right now. And I, I want to get some things, get some good deals, roll some, cash out some, things like that. Anyways, I ended up picking up this because initially I wanted to pick up some dry shampoo. And the cashier told me, uh, I can't sell that to you. It was made by Tresemme. I guess there was maybe a recall or something. So they can't sell it to customers. Anyways, it was going to be $2.24. I wasn't going to have to pay much. And... I ended up last minute just grabbing this because it said it was 282 and I was like, oh, that sounds like a good deal. Anyways, I went ahead and I grabbed the Old Spice Thickening Shampoo. It was originally priced at $11.29. The clearance price, as I said, was 282 as you can see right under it. The Coconut Shampoo was $5.19. The shampoos and conditioners for Dove this week are buy one, get one 50% off. As you can see right there on my receipt. So the second one, I only ended up paying uh, $2.59. And then I threw in one of those vitamin C bottles for that transaction. So I had the 3 off 10 cosmetics hair that came off beautifully. And that wasn't including like a vitamin C. I just threw it in because I had a, a $10 extra buck. Anyways, I had the 2 off 2 hair. That's the Dove from last week that expired on Saturday, but had a grace period to use today. And then I presented a $10 extra buck. Now, uh, they prorated it down to $9.79 and I took the hit of losing out on 21 cents in extra bucks. When you have extra bucks, you know when you have those high value ones, sometimes they're hard to spend off as opposed to a dollar, two dollars. The same thing goes if you shop at like Walgreens, it's hard to you know incorporate deals when you have high value of things. Anyways. I went ahead and I checked out and I paid nothing. I earned back $2 in extra bucks for purchasing this week two Dove products. So on top of them being on sale for buy one, get one 50% off, it's earn a $2 extra buck when you buy two. I earned $5 back for submitting the receipt to Ibotta and I submitted the receipt to Fetch. And since I purchased two of the Unilever Dove shampoo products, hair care products, I earned back over 3,000 fetch points, which is equivalent to $3. So the $3 from fetch, the $2 extra buck, that's five, and then the $5 through Ibotta. So split it up and again, paid with a $10 extra buck, earned back $10, over $10 in incentives back from this purchase, making everything shown here, including a bottle of the vitamin C, totally free. Awesome, right? Initially, I had um, intentions of grabbing something else, which I'll talk about in another transaction, but that ended up making that all totally free. So I was so, so happy as far as that goes. Now, another um, big thing that I wanted to go ahead and do, and this is one that I did like early in the morning, was I had a $7 off $30 or more hair care coupon. And I was like, how can I do this the best possible deal scenario? Well, I had a bad situation with that, that cashier that I wasn't happy with earlier. And I ended up getting very upset and frustrated because 
again, it's not something that you want to run into, especially in the early morning when you're trying to get things done before you have to do big things. Okay, so I took advantage of the same Dove opportunity. I had a $2 off to Dove coupon for, this is a separate account than what I just discussed with, that was totally free. And I ended up utilizing the two off two coupon. I had no manufacturer coupons. I don't deal with paper coupons most of the time, just the physical like uh, paper coupons from like CVS, not like actual manufacturer coupons. Nine out of 10 times, I don't have any. So here I picked up buy one, get one 50% off for the Dove, buy one, get one 50% off for the Dove, 519. And then this one was 259, 519, 259. Okay. I also went ahead and I picked up these Pantene products because I scanned them and in the app it showed that there was a coupon for $3 off three. And I saw a sign near them saying that when you bought two, you earn back $4 in extra bucks. And remember with a Dove, I'm earning back $2 in extra bucks, limit one, um, when you buy two Dove products. So the Pantene were um, buy three, Buy two, earn back $4 in extra bucks. And if you bought three, you got $3 off three low to card digital coupon. That was the CVS coupon. And I think everyone has it. You should at least go check your accounts if you don't. I also found this John Frieda uh, Blue Crush for Brunettes, Blue Conditioner. Here's the UPC barcode. And this one was actually on clearance for $3.37 at the store that I shopped at. At the other store that I went to in the evening, it wasn't on clearance for that. It was full price. So I was really like, that's what I initially wanted instead of that Old Spice stuff. So I actually scanned these and this dry foam shampoo was on clearance for $2.12. And this was on clearance for $4.24. Understand what I mean? You buy three, you get $3 off. And then you buy two and you get $4 off if you follow in along. So I was thinking this is going to be a really fantastic great deal. And then for a fetch account offer, that's a limit of five. You buy two of the Unilever Dove products. You earn back 3,000 fetch points, which is equivalent to $3 twice. So that's $6 right there back from fetch. And then on top of it, I bought it has a banging rebate um, for CVS for this John Frieda product and it's $3 back. So that just means that like 37 cents before that seven off 30 was incorporated. Now I also had seen near, and it's my mistake. They have this going on all the time. So it's my mistake. Anyways. They had a sign saying buy two Nivea, earn back $5 in extra books. And I thought, wow, it's going to be this, right? And I was all like hunky-dory, you know, that's awesome, amazing. I'm picking these up. And here's what happened at the checkout. And I'm a little bit upset about it, like usual. Some people get upset. Anyways, I wasn't quite where I needed to be at. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I've had to throw in these to get to the 30 because I... I uh, wasn't quite at 30, but these are on sale two for four this week, earn back a $2 extra buck. And I thought, oh, wow, that's a great filler. I was looking at all the items and this is what I came across. And the UPC barcode for that is these. And right there, if you want to see it, 0711 64 333 Okay. So now that we see everything for there and got everything all straightened out with what was in the transaction, I had the 7 off 30 coupon, the 3 off 3 Pantene. I also had a 2 off 2 Dove from last week that I saved that had a grace period. And I had a bunch of extra bucks. I had a total of like $26 in extra bucks. And I was like, oh wow, that's awesome. And um, I didn't quite want to use the 26. I only wanted to use actually 24. And then the cashier selected a $5 extra buck and I lost out on $1.60. But we won't talk about that. We'll talk about the fact that I paid nothing and then I submitted my receipt to, I bought it and I got back $3 and I submitted my receipt to Fetch and I got back $6. That's great. That's a $9 money maker if you look at it that way. Anyways, so here's the rundown and breakdown of everything that I got. Okay. 
It's uh, the Haskin Argan Oil packets, 1.75 ounces. They're two for four, as you can see. No coupons off that, which is fine. And then you see the Nivea and lips, and they're two for five. You see the Pantene, um, 212, 212, 424 for the one, of course. If there was three 212s, I would have bought it, but there wasn't. Then you see the John Frieda, 337. You see the Dove, 519, 259, 519, 259. You see all of those coupons for the 3F3, digital load to card, came off no problem. You see the 7F30, came off no problem. And you see the 2F2 Dove, that was from last week. And then you see my extra box. You see how it says 341 at the bottom. Yeah, that was a $5 extra box that the cashier selected accidentally and um, basically gypped me out of $1.59 and nothing that I can do about it because what's said and done is done when it comes to CVS apparently. But I um, haven't called customer service, maybe I possibly will. Okay, so what happened then from that point is I was supposed to earn back the $4 in extra bucks for buying the three or Pantene. Realistically, you only need to do two by two. But as I said, I bought the third one because I had a three off three. So it didn't print. So I told the cashier, they printed it out. Great. Fine. Dandy. Got that coupon. I did not get the $2 um, extra buck when you buy two of the Dove products. Why didn't it print? I do not know. Sounds really weird. And then I was highly disappointed. I didn't get the Nivea buy two, get $5 in extra bucks because the cashier just sort of pushed me away. I didn't even have a chance to like complain or make a complaint. Okay. And I was just like, unbelievable. Anyways, I ended up coming back into the store and saying like, listen, I want to return these Nivea's because you know, um, I was supposed to get extra bucks and I didn't get them. And the sign says it there. And he was like, uh, oh, I can see if I can issue. And then he's like, oh, the system's down or something. So then I was like, oh, okay. And wrote on a receipt, come back. And the name just scribbled. But I didn't like what happened. Okay. That's my personal opinion. You all are entitled to your personal opinions. When you coupon and you expect extra bucks and you don't get them, it's like, why am I couponing? Okay. I'm couponing, couponing to save money. That's the whole reason why everyone watches couponing videos, coupons, etc., and so on. Okay. You're in the same boat as me because you're watching this video. So you want to be filled on on how to save money, not how to buy things and not get what you intended to receive. You don't want a coupon if you want to be disappointed, right? So anyways, maybe I will call customer service and, you know, hopefully maybe the, the cashier will, you know, do good on what was said, but I didn't get it up front. So I can't go ahead and get my rewards right away. And that upsets me, you know, to be on a waiting list to get a reward. Anyways, I didn't pay anything, but I did pay. $26 an extra bucks and I only got back the $4 for the Pantene which is was a forced print and then the $9 through um, Fetch and Ibotta so if you take those into consideration the 4 and the 9 that's 13 back that's half of my money back and then maybe I'll get back the 5 maybe I'll get back the 2 I, I can't say for a certain and that's the part that's that's upsetting. Anyways, moving on. I used my extra box. It was free in the long run. Okay. And I cashed out some. All right. So some other fun deals that I wanted to take advantage of because they're very highly expensive everywhere. And I'm sure like if I go to Sam's Club or something, you know, these are probably cheaper. But I picked up these fruit gushers. Yes, they're very bad for children. But as a treat, kids love them. And to have in the house, you know. And the also benefit is there are box tops for education item, qualifying item. And my child receives money to their school for me buying like 10 cents for each item practically all the time. So they are on sale at CVS for $1.99 this week. So I picked up two boxes. 
And one of the reasons why is I had some cool $3 off, $12 or more of beverage, food, snack items. So I made sure my cart got up to or close to $12. So I got the Gushers. I got the Gushers. And then the other items that I picked up was one of these Chex Mix peanut butter chocolate bar boxes. And I picked up three boxes of cinnamon toast crunch cereal because cereal is so expensive. Each of those were $1.99. Anyways, the three boxes of cereal and were each $1.99. And then the Chex Mix peanut butter chocolate bars, those were $1.99. And then the Gushers were each $1.99. So I picked up those for the transaction. I had the three off 12. I had a digital load to cart coupon for a dollar off two cereal boxes. And I had actually printed out from a giant trip a while back, a dollar 50 off three boxes of um, cereal manufacturer Catalina coupon. So anyways, the gushers, you know, ended up coming down so low everything all together you know before coupons was like 11.94 and then after all of my coupons applied it was six dollars and 44 cents but wait it gets better i submitted my receipt to the box tops for education and i got back 10 10 10 10 10 and a bonus of 10 that was like 60 cents or 70 cents i think it was because even this i think is a general mills product or something like that um yeah so i got a holiday bonus and it was 70 cents for the school the school got 70 cents and i got a dollar for ibotta for buying this checks mix then i submitted my receipt over to fetch and i have a fetch offer when i spend 60 dollars or more in fetch I earn 5,000 fetch points, which is equivalent to $5. And the total retail original price on my receipts, I count it. So it pushed me over what I needed and I cut back like 5,000 points for that because like the $6.99 counted the $6.99, $6.99, $5.29, and then the $4.69 didn't count. I don't know. But anyways, so I earned back way more than what I spent. So that was like totally a free free things okay and then i kept it going i had another three out of 12 so i bought some ritz crackers because who doesn't love ritz crackers so these bigger um eight packs as you'll see on the bottom they're on sale this week two for seven dollars and when you buy two you earn back two dollars in extra bucks and the ones up top are two for three dollars. And when you buy two, you earn back a dollar extra bucks. It's a limit of one per transactional thing per card. Okay. So I had the three off 12 and um, seven plus uh, two for three. That's 10. And then I threw in one of these Chex Mix box. And also if you buy two of them through Fetch, it's a dollar back. And also, as I said, it's a dollar back through Ibotta. But like once you submit a resort that has it for Ibotta, you need to do like another account or wait 24 hours just so you know. But if you coupon, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, I had the Ritz, the Ritz, the Ritz, the Ritz, putting on the Ritz, and the Chex Mix. Okay. And I had the 3 off 12. And my subtotal, like before everything, was like eleven ninety nine, and then because it was above the ninety eight percent threshold, that three off twelve came off beautifully. I ended up paying out of pocket eight ninety nine, which is fine. Crackers are expensive. I ended up earning back a dollar through Ibotta. You know, I bonused out through that fetch that was a dollar, and that so that's two. And then I went ahead and I got back three dollars total for extra bucks. So that's five all together back making everything just three dollars and 99 cents okay which is wonderful and then because i had another card i was able to go ahead and utilize i was like well you know why not i saw these chewy chips ahoys and they're soft and the kids love them and they're great for the holidays and these little animal crackers and they are two for seven Buy two, earn back $2 in extra bucks. And these Barnum Animal Cookers are two for three. And you buy two, you earn back a dollar in extra bucks. So altogether, um, $10, no coupons or anything. Oh, well. And earn back $3, so $7. But 
you know, realistically for spending like $10.99, like I uploaded my receipts and everything and I've been getting all these gift cards and everything and I didn't pay anything out of pocket. So I got all of this and I think it's like hundreds of dollars retail value, all of it, everything in this video for free. So I did a great dandy, fantastic job, even though I had a complicational situation concerning this transaction, hopefully we can get it sorted out with, uh, you know, the manager a different day to basically pay me back for what I'm owed, you know, an extra bucks, um, rightfully so. And other than that, I hope you're maybe having a great opportunity to get out to your CVS to take advantage of some deal that I've filled you in on. If not, there's always after the holiday season, you know, um, say you're, you know, uh, looking for a good deal. There's always the month of January. You know, it comes after January. It's February and March. And then guess what? April showers, May flowers, June brides. So I hope you all enjoyed this wonderful video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. And don't let anyone Anyone take that smile off your face. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great one. Bye.